Hey Gemini's, this is Diane 303 High Priestess. Thank you guys for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Let me go ahead and jump in with you here, Gemini's. I hope all of you guys are doing well out there in these times, okay? I want to let you guys know that this may not resonate with everyone. So if it does resonate with you, go ahead and check your other sign. Moon rising and Venus sign. Okay, last shuffle here. Gemini. Gemini. Sun rising and Venus sign. I'm going to do a traditional Celtic cross on this reading here for you, Gemini. And see what energy is here. Thank you. Oh, okay. You're setting your ground. Good for you, Gemini. Let's see what's going on. see a few challenges here for you Gemini okay but I don't think that you will not overcome these challenges I see you pushing through being very vocal okay at this time even against people that don't quite believe in you here with the seven of swords coming in you may have individuals around you that may um, feel like they don't believe in your path they're not supporting you in some way, okay? Um, an air sign that I'm getting here with the Seven of Swords, you may feel like you need to guard yourself in some way um, against their thoughts. This could be in work or, or a relationship, okay? Yes. I see you doing a lot of evaluating here this month, Gemini, in the month of May going into June due to all the retrogrades we have going on, okay? Saturn, Venus, and Jupiter. You're doing a lot of evaluating when it comes to your jobs and your relationships and your connections that you have here with other people. Looking at them very carefully, seeing if they work for you or they don't work for you here. But I see, I feel like this could possibly be a lover with the Seven of Swords here, okay? That's what it feels like. Someone has some sneaky type of behavior going on. I would definitely take a look at your partnerships. Because it feels like uh, someone's not being true, truthful about the way that they feel. Okay, with the two of the two swords standing behind this person they're not being truthful about the way that they feel they're kind of hiding their feelings and not being open with you not being honest with you okay there's some type of betrayal that is going on i feel like they have other plans going on behind the scenes that's what it feels like okay someone's going to make a decision soon though this is either you or this person that you are dealing with because energy is fluid here, okay? It could be you or this person, both of you. Could be making other plans or thinking that you um, have to do this. But there is definitely, with the Two of Wands, evaluating this connection or this person. You may be doing this here yourself. I feel like you don't have a lot of trust in a situation that is going on or trust in someone's words since we have the swords coming in to your reading here and you're making future plans. Look at you sticking up for yourself with the king of wands coming in. All right. Whew. It feels like you're back in the position of ruling your life or taking over um, your path here you're done listening to others and you're in charge that's what I feel they're saying here um, it also feels like you're depending heavily on yourself at this moment or you're feeling like you need to do this depend on yourself here there's some irritating feeling behind these cards as well like you're frustrated or annoyed with someone here could be a Leo could be an air sign here, Libra, Gemini, another Gemini or Aquarius that I have here. But you're taking control. That's what I'm saying. 
assessing, evaluating, really paying attention to someone's actions, to their words, and deciding whether something is worth your time. That's what I'm feeling here. You're going to change like this lizard down here. Uh, it feels like a chameleon. I don't know. It's a lizard down here, but it feels like you're going to switch up if you need to. Okay. That's what it feels like. You will switch up if you need to. You may get a lot of apologies here, but you're still guarding yourself. You got the judgment card and the nine of wands coming in here. You're still standing your ground, um, protecting yourself. So there's some mistrust here towards someone. This could be someone from your past trying to come back in with a judgment card or a current lover that apologizes a lot but doesn't change your actions, okay? That's what I'm saying here. You have your defense up in some way. Um, there's a decision that's going to be made soon. I see you gaining back your courage and your strength to do what needs to be done to get on a better path for yourself. I feel like you are listening to your intuition. You want to work on your life here. That's what's mainly on your mind here, Gemini, okay? With the temperance card coming in, balance. You want your emotions to be balanced, okay? One foot on the um, in the water and one foot on the earth. You're, you're kind of thinking about how to bring in balance towards your life how you're going to find balance and how you're going to heal yourself. So you're putting up a defense. There's also um, this annoying feeling of restraint from an individual you may be with here, okay? I'm not sure if they're verbally um, aggressive. That's what I'm hearing here, verbally aggressive, that you need to find some inner peace for yourself. Someone's behavior is out of whack. Is whack right now. That's what I'm feeling with this temperance card. Acting out. Okay. You want to take your power back with this magician card here. I'm feeling this both with the magician card and the king of wands that we're um that we're seeing here i see some significant transformation of yourself you're seeing that you have options that there are other avenues that there are other possibilities that you don't have to deal with someone or something that's what I'm seeing here and that you have the power to change it. You're seeing things very clearly now, seeing that the sun will be coupled with Mercury on May 4th. This is bringing in insight to not only your relationships, but um, big moves that you may have to make uh, for yourself. Okay. I will probably wait until after May 11th to make any career changes or big changes um when it comes to relocating if you're thinking about doing that okay this is a time for you to really evaluate someone or something at this moment and start planning for yourself that's what i'm hearing okay i feel like you're done with being um i'm hearing lied to like someone lied to your heart or they're not being uh, -uh. <clears throat> yeah they're not being honest uh, with the way that you feel, with the way that they feel. Excuse me. I'm looking down at this card here and these two swords. They're not being honest with the way that they feel, okay? And you sense this, your intuition is kicking in. That's what I feel here, Gemini. You're done living in the past past disappointments hurt you're done people pleasing as well i feel like you're soon going to turn around and see these other two cups that are behind you that's still standing up and know that you have other options and you're going to take another path that's what i'm seeing because in the near future here gemini you have the four of wands coming in you're headed towards um stability in your life 
satisfaction. You may find that you want new romance in your life. You want peace and you're going to plan to get this in the near future because you're starting to see things very clearly for yourself. You're on this forward movement um, type of path here. Going towards things that fulfill you and what you um, what you still find value in, okay? You're going to evaluate your relationships and see if it's still worth it. You may be creating on your own here, creating this stable st um, environment on your own. At some point, the Four of Wands brings in this energy of freedom to do so. And I feel like you're building it um, possibly on your own here. Yes. Possibly on your own because we're coming in with the five of pentacles. You feel like someone doesn't, doesn't have your back quite the way that they should. You have a lover or a partner here that you may feel is very selfish or stingy. Um, or has left you in the cold in some type of way with the five of pentacles here. I say stingy, okay? With the money. Because your outside environment, your environment is the Ace of Pentacles here. There's this sense of you taking care of more than just your part. You're doing more, and they may it something is not equal here. That's what I'm feeling. But I see opportunities coming towards you, new ones, a new path here with the Ace of Pentacles. It's going to feel better. Um, to be out there creating this fortune on your own, creating stability on your own here, okay? You may decide to take up classes online as well. You may take up a new skill set or increase your skill set so that you can provide for yourself and bring in this security on your own here, okay? That's what I feel here. I feel like blessings are coming in with the Ace of Pentacles as it's sitting as the external influences and what's going to be affecting you here in the month of May. You're going to have a lot of opportunities that come up towards you if you're looking for a new job, okay? That is something that will open up for you as well. New career opportunities. I still say after May 11th though, okay, that you should look at this new opportunity when it comes to work if you don't have a job right now i feel like something will be available to you okay you're gonna cut through um a lot of chaos when it comes to the ace of swords coming in here you're gonna do this yes it feels like you're evaluating things Ace of Swords is like a critical type of analysis over your life and what's working and what's not working for you. I see two new beginnings here. Instability coming in towards you due to the de decisions that you have made and the things that you have cut out of your life. Okay. the outcome here so i feel like people won't like someone's not going to like that you are moving on from them they're not going to like that you are doing things for yourself that you're trying to bring in stability towards your life here okay they may have an issue with i don't know why i'm hearing this okay verbally being a um aggressive that's what I'm feeling, okay, with the Page of Swords. But I feel like you are standing your, your ground here regardless. Let's take a look and get some advice for you here, Gemini. Got a lot of swords coming in. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. What advice do you have here for Gemini, May 2020? It's going to resonate being a sign. Soulmate, soul connection, partnerships, agreements, soul contracts. Here. 
you're going to have plenty of soulmates in your lifetime. That does not mean you have to stay. It's your, totally your choice here, Gemini, though, okay? But I see you possibly cutting something out of your path or cutting something, um, releasing someone, okay, or something. That's what I'm saying with the Ace of Swords coming in. Yes, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, and growth coming in here. There's a butterfly here. There's that transformation with the butterflies. This butterfly coming in. This is self-reflection. So this, you're going to be doing some inner reflection. That's what I'm seeing here with the mirror. Mirroring each other's self-image relationship reflect our wounds introspection. You're going to be doing some inner work here in the month of May. You're going to see if something is still working for you. I feel also, Gemini, that you're going to not only look at your external relationships, you're also going to do um, some work on yourself. I keep saying inner reflection or uh, inner work. Okay, This could be you connecting with your higher self more, doing yoga, working on your health. Um, working on your body, working on your appearance, okay? Doing things that make you feel good um, and uplift your spirit because we have the temperance card coming in. You're noticing that you need to do this, this insight. You're going to feel it more on May 4th, okay? With the sun coming in with Mercury or coupling with Mercury, okay? Um, I feel like you're definitely going to get clarity of what you need to work on right now in the present moment for some of you this is your health and your peace of mind that you're going to be working on that's what i'm seeing with the four of wands as well let's take a look at love here gemini what's going on with gemini may 2020 summer rising phoenix sign things flow let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally it may unfold and you may let it go because you see that if something's not worth your time anymore not worth your energy it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation here okay got soulmate coming in here twice that's what i'm saying I still see you possibly evaluating something and cutting something out. That's what I'm saying here. Okay. Some soulmate that you thought that you were going to spend it a long time with, you may not see them in the same way. They're showing up as a seven of swords here as well. Okay. And you making future plans for yourself or making new plans for yourself doing a lot of thinking and evaluating uh, your connection here. You're thinking about it. I see it. They're saying don't force something to work. That's what I'm saying here. Don't force something to work. And if, it, if it's time to let it go, they're saying trust in your instincts and your intuition. Okay. As we have the Scorpio full moon coming in on May 7th here, I see that you're going to be evaluating your connections and, and really um, finding out not only things about yourself, but you're also going to find out things about this person, things that they may have tried to hide from you. You may be on a new path here for yourself. That's what I'm hearing here. But your your path is blessed here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords coming in. New energy, a new vibration that's going to um, give you some much needed freedom and control. All right. 
that is your reading, Gemini. You guys know I will pick this reading up for you in the next love reading. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video for me. Hit the notification bell, Gemini, and I'll see you later. Bye.